you're not familiar, the Drake Passage is a body of water between Cape Horn in South America and the South Shetland Islands in Antarctica. It's known for some of the choppiest waters in the world. And that's because the Drake Passage is where the Atlantic, Pacific, and Southern Ocean currents meet without any resistance from nearby land masses. As you can see, I'm holding onto the rail because it's a bit rough. Based on the Beaufort wind scale, which goes from zero, being calm, to 12, being a hurricane, we experienced an 11, a violent storm. It was this bad. We were actually told to go back in sight shortly after that. Now the Drake Passage isn't always bad. You can get rough waters, which is known as the Drake Shake, or you can get the Drake Lake, which is where you get no wind and calmer seas. We actually got both. And if you're wondering, why is it called the Drake Passage? Well, that's because it was named after Francis Drake, a famous British explorer in the 1500s who lost a ship to southward winds while sailing the west coast. It's rough with ships that have stabilizers and are modern and have all this tech. I cannot imagine what it was like back then when ships were made out of wood, they didn't have any GPS, and they couldn't rely on weather forecasts. Thank goodness I am not seasick.